What's going on everybody? Welcome to the stock. Welcome back. If you've been here before, more modern today. You guys voted in a poll last week and kind of by a landslide, Teamer Rhinos won. So today we're playing Teamer Rhinos or Teamer Crash Cade, whatever you want to call it. This is kind of a simple deck. It's an all-in combo deck that does its best to play the role of a tempo deck in the early game, utilizing cards like Brazen Borrower and Fire Ice in order to kind of stabilize in the early game and set up for their combo. The combo is really simple. You're going to play four copies of Shardless Agent and four copies of Violent Outburst. These cards have Cascade, and when they Cascade, they have to Cascade into a spell that costs less than the spell that you use. Shardless Agent and Violent Outburst are both three drops, so this deck's built in a way that where there's, there's no two drops in this deck, and there's no one drops either. There, but there's a zero drop, and the zero drop is Crashing Footfalls. This is a suspend card, but we're abusing the mechanics of the game in order to cast this, put it right onto the stack off of Cascade, and it makes two 4-4 four, four Rhinos. If you do this early enough, then it usually just wins the game, especially if you can keep your opponent tapped out using things like Fire Ice and using Brazen Borrower, maybe some removal spells, and get the job done as quickly as you possibly can. Round one, we're playing against some of you guys actually know it's Wayne. He plays with us a lot on Sundays when we stream, and he's playing Red white burn and there's nothing too fancy about his deck it's kind of the stock list here's the uh if you go down to the description you'll be able to see a stock list of burn that i provided for you there's some subtle changes in his sideboard and we'll get to that after our first game but that's everything you guys should need to know before we get into it so let's go ahead and start on round one Game one, I am on the play. We won the die roll, but we have to mulligan to six, and Wayne does as well. Our initial opener contains a Misty Rainforest, a Brazen Borrower, an Endurance, an Island, Crashing Footfalls, Fury, and Dead and Gone. This opener does not have enough lands to cast a Cascade spell, and we don't even have one in our opener. Also, having a Crashing Footfalls in the opener is quite clunky. We would much rather Cascade into this spell than suspend it for four turns. Our second opener is much better. We'll keep a Fire Ice, a Shardless Agent, Ottawara, a Wooded Foothills, Scalding Tarn, and a Bone Crusher Giant, and we'll ship a copy of Steam Vents to the bottom as this hand does not require four lands to work. Turn one. I'm gonna play a Scalding Tarn and just pass the turn. Wayne drops a Wooded Foothills and I'll fetch for a Sacred Foundry, shocking it into play, dropping to 17. He'll drop Monastery Swiss Spear, attack me for one, I'll go to 19, and then he passes, but before he can, I'll fetch for a Ketria Triome and drop to 18. I'll play Ottawara as my land for turn and cast Stomp, the adventure side of Bone Crusher Giant, targeting the Swiss Spear, which kills it, and I'll pass the turn. Wayne drops another Wooded Foothills, this time I'll fetch for a Mountain, dropping to 16. He'll cast Lava Spike, targeting me, I drop to 15. He'll suspend a Rift Bolt and pass the turn right back. I'll drop my own Wooded Foothills, fetch for a basic forest, dropping to 14, and I'll drop a Shardless Agent. Putting this on the stack is going to trigger its ability, Cascade, so we start flipping cards in our deck until we hit a spell that costs less than three, and the trick here is that we built our deck in a way where there's only one spell. We eventually find the card Crashing, Crashing Footfalls, Footfalls, and we'll cast it. This drops two 4-4 oh, four, yeah. four Rhinos into play. After that, I've got nothing else, so I'm gonna pass, pass the, the turn. turn. In Wayne's upkeep, the Rift Bolt's gonna come out of Suspend, drop dropping me to 11, then he's gonna bolt me, dropping me to eight, and then he'll cast Skewer the Critics for one mana thanks to the damage I've already taken and drop me to five, but after that, he just passes the turn. I'll drop a Scalding Tarn and I'll attack Wayne for 10 power with both of my Rhinos and the Shardless Agent, dropping him to six and pass the turn. In Wayne's upkeep, I'll cast Ice, targeting his Sacred Foundry and draw a card he has to tap it. Then he shows his hand, he ends up drawing a Lightning Bolt for the turn, so this Ice actually stops him from having enough mana to straight up kill me with his Searing Blaze and his Lightning Bolt. We win game one, baby. Oh. All right, game two, I won. That puts Wayne on the play, and I'm gonna keep a hand of seven. Wayne has to mulligan to six. Burn does not like doing this. Very quickly, we'll go over the sideboard. I have some insider information. I'm just gonna bring in three copies of Force of Vigor and take out two copies of Endurance and one copy of Violent Outburst. The reason I'm bringing in all three Force of Negations in this matchup might seem a little weird, but they can actually be pitch cast to deal with Eidolon of the Great Revel. But more importantly, I know that Wayne actually is packing two copies of Ensnaring Bridge in his sideboard, which can shut down our plan pretty quickly. I'm obviously trimming on the Endurances because he does not care about his graveyard, and I'm trimming the Violent Outburst just because I tend to trim one of my Cascade spells when I'm on the draw in linear matchups like these. My Game 2 opener is an absolute banger. I'm keeping a Shardless Agent, a Waterlogged Grove, a Mountain, a Fury, Brazen Borrower, Scalding Tarn, and another Fury. Turn 1, Wayne drops Inspiring Vantage and taps for Red to Lava Spike me, dropping me to 17, and passes. I'll play a Scalding Tarn and pass right back. Wayne's gonna shock in Sacred Foundry, dropping to 18, and play Eidolon of the Great Revel and pass 
pass the turn, but before he can, I'll fetch for a Ketria Triome, dropping to 16. I'll drop a basic mountain, and then I'll pitch Dead and Gone to evoke Fury, targeting the Eidolon. This kills it, and I pass right back. Wayne's just gonna draw a card and pass the turn back to me, so I'll drop Wooded Foothills, fetch for a basic forest, dropping to 15, and I'll play a Shardless Agent, which triggers Cascade. Oh, We're gonna go through yeah. cards until we once again hit Crashing Footfalls. Crashing this makes two 4-4 four, four Rhinos, and we will pass the turn, but at the end of my turn, oh, Wayne's no. gonna cast Path to Exile twice, targeting each of my Rhinos, so I'll just get two basic lands, and we go to Wayne's turn. Wayne is again just gonna draw a card and pass the turn, but then I'll play Waterlog Grove, attack for two, dropping him to 16, and pass. At the end of my turn, Wayne's gonna Boros Charm me, and I'll drop to 11. Wayne's gonna try to continue the draw go routine, but at the end of his turn, I'm gonna cast Violent Outburst. <laughs> this also has Cascade, and it's a three drop, so I'm gonna Cascade all the way into another Crashing, crashing Footfalls. Foot falls. After that, I'll just sacrifice my Waterlog Grove to draw a card, and we'll go to my turn, where I'll play a Scowling Turn, attack for 10 with my whole team, dropping Wayne down to six, and then I'm gonna pass, but at the end of my turn, he's gonna Burrows Charm me, dropping me to seven, but then he'll draw his card and realize he has no way to stop me from murdering him with two 4-4 four, four Rhinos and a Shardless Agent, so he concedes. I win this round 2-0, baby. Apologies for anyone who noticed we were missing the second camera angle for this video. We had to, we, it was just me. I had to come back and grab an SD card. The SD card that I brought was full and we only had one to get the top down angle. So for the next three videos in the Teamer Crash Cade Teamer Rhino series are gonna have the over the shoulder cam. This one did not and you guys already saw that probably, but this game is so quick. Hopefully it didn't matter too much. And if anyone has not seen this matchup before, this is kind of how it goes. I won the die roll and you may have noticed that if Wayne won the die roll he probably if he went first he probably would have won that game with the cards he drew if he sequenced them in a similar way but I won the die roll one game one and then game two my hand was just kind of cracked and I was able to get there even through the double path to exile because I have so many cards that crashed crash cade that cascade I have so many cards that cascade into crash cade putting eight to 10 power on the battlefield. And that's a clock against burn. And that's usually like a turn faster than burn's clock. That's all I have for you guys today, tomorrow, more modern. So I will see you guys next time.